What's going on, people? I'm holding the mic because uh, my mic stand is acting funny these days. Now, I want to say, just make this video real quick, and I want you to hear me out on this one. Because a lot of people have been asking me questions about, dude, why did you pick this niche of how to find your, your purpose? Now, as I'm doing this, um, give me one second. I want to make sure my lighting is, uh, is good. And there's one lighting that isn't on right now. Now, some of you may be asked, well, why don't you just fix the lighting as, you know, and then first and then come back? I don't roll like that. And the reason why I don't roll like that is because I've learned to start. It's more important to start than it is to get it perfect. You know, some people have said, dude, you know, uh, why? <laughs> why is it that, you know, you don't proofread your stuff when uh, before you put it out? Look. I honestly do not care about perfection. So a lot of times I just get it started. And I've been doing this all my childhood. Like, for instance, I remember in English class. <laughs> I was terrible at English. At least I thought. And I never get this. English, I always had bad grades because I never proofread it. I just wrote things down and thought it made sense the first time. And it never did. You know, but if I just would have went back over two more times could have got perfect grades but most entrepreneurs don't have good grades anyway because school normal system isn't our thing but here's the funny thing one day when I was in UNLV the running rebs going to school the teacher said I want you guys to take out a sheet of paper and I just want you guys to write any story be creative as possible and this is no lie so I said wow I've never had the chain taken off of me when it came to came to English. I always had to write a paper about uh, history or write a paper about this and make sure you include the nouns and the adjectives. Boring stuff. So when she took the chains off, I just wrote. And this lady said, sir, I don't mean to put your head up to a, a certain level, but this is the best paper I've ever written. I mean, excuse me, not ever written. <laughs> she ever read. Because I had all this, cre I'm a creative, I'm a person that creates every day. Now this video is going to turn into something else, but that's, hey, that's fine. I'm a person that creates every day. And when you create every day, that means you wake up sometimes with no thoughts. You may have to go in the shower, then the thoughts come. You may have to walk around with the notebook, then the thoughts come. You may have to meditate. And you're sitting there in silence. Then the thought comes. And then you take those thoughts and you apply them to your business and you hope they work. Because you don't have any guarantee that they will. But here's what a lot of people don't understand. Hear me out on this one. Most businesses that, no most, let me take that back. All businesses that you see today that are not government related, and maybe even some of those are created through Thinking like um, Benjamin Franklin was responsible for the library, the uh, fire department, all created by masterminds where groups of people came together and put those thoughts together and made it happen. Right. So do you have the guts to get up and create? I mean, think about it. I'm, I'm, I'm just getting into it now. Um, let me talk about Jimi Hendrix for a second. Jimi Hendrix died. Hear me out on this one. At 27 years old. Now you on the other side of that lens. How old are you? Let's say you're 35. They said that Jimi Hendrix was one of the most talented guitar players that ever lived. But he died at 27. So when did he start? Usually you say it takes people 10 years to get to mastery. 10 years. He started so young, and here's the kicker, could not read music, which told me another thing. I remember going into Nordstrom, just like this fancy department store deal, and it was a guy in there playing the piano, and he had just finished up, and he was getting ready to go to lunch. Now, I played piano when I was a youngster, took lessons, boring as heck. The lady had me playing stuff I was just not interested in. Right. Going to recitals and stuff. I wasn't wasn't interested in. And I dragged my family there. 
Mom bought a keyboard. Just I wasn't interested in it. But here's the funny thing. So the guy was getting ready to go to lunch. And I said, hey, man, you're playing some some cool tunes. But I notice there's no sheet music. Do you just memorize this? He said, dude, I can't read music. So then I started looking through all the Rolodex and looking at what, <laughs> hear me out on this one, and looking at all of the famous guitar players that had ever lived. And it was 15 that I looked at. And out of the 15, do you know that pretty much all of them did not read music? So I'm like, these guys are relying on creativity. There are stories of Jay-Z, whom they say that never writes down anything. They say if you could see Jay-Z when he goes into a studio, he closes his eyes and he hums a few things, then he says, I'm ready. He gets up and it has been said that Jay-Z has written classics, sell out songs, songs that have went to the top of the charts in one city. Now, with that being said, my question is this. We all know that I'm breathing right now. You're breathing because you're, you're alive and you're listening to this. But we don't control it because if it was up to us, we would breathe forever. We would never turn this off. We would never turn life off. But could it be that that special thing that is inside of you is given to you, but it's you that's not using it? It's you that's not taking advantage of it. So the question goes, why aren't you taking advantage of it? Why aren't you using it? Because I can guarantee you right now, I'm using it. I'm going to use it for me. And you should use it for you. You cannot afford to be walking around and not using what you're great at. Can't afford it. Your family needs it. Your kids need it. You are taking food off the table when you don't use your edge. And I'll do another video on edge because that's a very important piece. But that's the thing, man. You, people go day after day after day and they wonder why they hate their job, they hate their life, because they're not being creative. They're not. I know people who have the talent of Picasso, of, of, of sports players that took a wrong road in life and are not using their gift. And it's sad. Kobe Bryant is getting ready to retire this year. Everyone knows what he was great at. He probably wouldn't have been as a great accountant. He probably wouldn't have been a great financial planner. Because he started this business when he was in high school. So he never saw college. I would just hope because he seems like a guy that's kind of detached from the world outside of basketball. Once he leave, goes home, it seems like he's, and I've heard him say that before. He's kind of a, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, a homebody, you know, stays away. And I'm kind of that way too. Just stay away from people. And, and then if he does hang with people, he's, he's talking to people about powerful subjects. You know, like Kobe Bryant has been known to go to seminars, think tanks, things like that, which basketball is thinking anyway. But I'm rambling now. But you guys get the uh, the point that I'm trying to say here. Man, you got to you got to do that thing. And if you're not doing that thing. You're not living. So my challenge to you today is. Do it. Stop thinking about it. Do it. Please. Do it. You owe it to yourself. And just to see what you can create with that thing that you're doing. And then I promise you this, this is the last part I'm about to say. Once you find that thing and you create it, you are not going to stop. You're going to have sleepless nights. Your spouse is going to have to pull you to bed. If you have a spouse and you're a kid, your, your mom is going to have to say, hey, turn the TV off. You're going to be staying up to four or five o'clock creating. Creating is something that is part of life. And if more of you create it, we can have the world that we want to we want to have. We wouldn't have to go to the government and tell them to do something for us. So that's what I'm gonna leave you guys with. 
Hopefully you guys are killing it. Get out there and kill it. And uh, take care, guys.